Hi, this is Protocol Fit, and I'm here on behalf of ZSS Zombie Suppression Squad to show you how to set up your controller for your PC. Well, the first thing you need to set up your controller for your PC is a controller. Any sort of based, USB based uh, plug will, will suffice, except for two things that I just found out. PS3 controllers that you plug in the USB um, plug into and then plug it in to charge will not work, as well as the Xbox 360 charge kit. They they have to be wired controllers, and the reason is because it uh, the wired controllers are already detected as a joystick, and when you plug it in as a charge kit, the USB it just detects it as a charging system. So you cannot have anything that you could take out, remove, or anything like that. It has to be already built in the controller. The next thing you're going to need is going to be X Pattern. X Pattern is a type of mapping um, thing, and it's it just maps your controller so you can actually use it for you know anything like you can use it for um, just gaming which is what I'm going to teach you how to do you can use it for just surfing the web whatever you want to do but this is what you're going to need now x pattern is not free it is ten dollars unless you find some other means of doing it which I have and basically I'm just going to take you to this site right here this site right here is going to get show you this it's going to give you the raw file so you're going to need Runwar in order to download it so here's the raw file. You just press the download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. After you get done downloading your X Patter, the f you need to extract it. And after you get done extracting it, it's going to uh, appear wherever you placed it in your location folder or whatever folder you placed it. Um, set it to your desktop or anywhere else. It might be easier for you to do it. What you're going to actually do is right click X Patter. Then you're going to go to properties. After you go to properties, you need to go go to compatibility, and then you're gonna click run this program in compatibility mode for, and then choose whatever you have. If it's already chosen what you have, choose it again. I've already done this, so I don't have to do it. Once you do that, you're gonna go through a bunch of install things. What you're gonna need to do is um, just go through it however you want to do it. It's on you. After you open it up, it's gonna look kind of like this. My controller is already kind of set up, so. Uh, yeah, but you're gonna have a new one. So what you're gonna do is start a new one. Go new. You're gonna click the controller on new. And you're gonna pop up with something like this. Now with this, um, really, you just need to uh, build the controller sticks, and it's gonna set them as a keypad, as a keyboard itself. The first thing you need to do is, if you want to, at least, um, open a picture, an image for your controller. Now these can be found on Xpatter's uh, images place. I forget where that was actually, but I already have like a bunch of them. So if you need me to send you some, I will. Just give me an email and I'll send you them. I'm gonna open mine, and since I'm using a USB drive Steel Series, I'm gonna go find that. I think I passed it. Like an idiot. Hmm. Apparently, I have passed my controller. Um. Uh huh. Anyways, I'm not gonna take up much time trying to find a controller. I'm just gonna click one. Okay, so this is basically kind of what mine looks like, except it doesn't have the turbo and the mode button, but it doesn't matter. After you get done, you get your picture. You know, you gotta do is go to your sticks, and then press enabled. It's gonna tell you push your left stick left. So left stick left, and then your left stick up, left stick up. And then that one is done. Now you can move it around, and it works. You do the same thing for your right stick, but the left stick left, I mean right stick left, right stick up. Now you can move it around as well. You probably should move these. These are movable. Move them wherever you want. You can also rename them. Uh, if You can also rename them right here. It's a stick 2 or stick 1. You can just rename them if you want, if wherever you want. The D-pad is pretty much the same. Press enabled. It's going to want you to press up on your D-pad, so you go up, then down, then left, then right. Move the D-pad to where the D-pad is, and then the D-pad is done. Buttons. Now, this is going to sound weird, but not really weird, but uh, every button, 
has to be everything else has to be a button everything I have not figured out how the triggers actually work so even your triggers have to be buttons which is actually better I think so what you're going to do is just go through and you're just going to make everything a button pretty much and that's going to be it you just click the button click whatever button you want and they will just appear and you just drag them over like so start doing one of these here oh, I think I moved something oh, it is not working for me alright since uh, I don't know what's going on but it's not adding my buttons okay after you get done just press ok ok alright don't know what this is, but I've already done this. So after you get done with all you need to do, you're going to see this move. You're going to see your controller going to move. That's going to be pretty much it. And you're done. Um, I've already set up my controller is how you do it. So I'm going to actually show you how to get your controller to actually move around like your mouse. What you need to do is go to this little tool wrench and make it your, air, uh, your mouse normal. And then make this your WASD. So now you move with your left stick and you, move, you look around with the right. This will work for any game. Then you can set up these however you want them. I I just set them up how I like them because most of these games use these buttons, so I set these buttons up for that. All right. This concludes the tutorial of how to actually set up your controller. Um, once again, I'm Protocol Fid, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, and bye.